So now let how the house of quality chart or the quality function deployment procedure is used to try and understand the requirements which uh, the customer has specified and how we can provide features in uh, the product that we are designing to meet the requirements. So what I have done here is uh, in this particular uh, slide shows the blank house of quality chart. Now, house of quality chart can go into many many levels and it can go into very very great detail. For illustration purposes, we are going to work only on a small house of quality chart. So, what are the features of this chart? The features of this chart are as follows. The first and the foremost is the area on the left where we enter what are called as the customer needs. Okay. As you can see, I have given here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, you know there are 6 places where you can enter the customer needs and uh, what we normally do is we ask the customer what is the priority of each of these requirements and sometimes the customer is able to give the priorities and sometimes the priorities have to be uh, determined. So, in this case, uh, what we do is we write down the customer needs in the order of the customer priorities. Okay. So, you can see on the right hand side of the chart, uh, I have uh, these two columns, the one which says rank 1 to 6, okay. this is the rank and uh, on the left of it, we have uh, a column for called customer priority weights and uh, this is currently blank because this is the template. So, the customer requirements or the needs will be mentioned here. So, we can we can say for example, this is requirement number 1 and the corresponding weightage for this let us say 30 percent 0 0.3 will be written and uh, the, we have to enter the data in such a manner that the requirement number 2, requirement number 3 etcetera are in the decreasing order of customer priority and therefore, uh, the ranks are also accordingly given. On the top of the house, we have an area for design features. This is the area where we are going to put features. Now, uh, to illustrate, I have only used, uh, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 features. I have only given a provision for only 5 features, but uh, what uh, in real life, you know, there can be many, many more. There could be many, many more. So, this is just an example which will be illustrative purposes. So, in this particular example, what we are going to do is we are going to identify 5 design features to be provided in the product to uh, address the, the, the 6 requirements which the customer has stated. The top of the chart is the design feature correlation matrix and this particular chart is used by the designer to note down which are the features that have a positive correlation to each other or a negative correlation to each other or they do not have any correlation at all. Some features may conflict or contradict the other features and vice versa. So, what we do is we use some kind of a symbol logy. So, if there is a feature that strongly supports another feature. For example, if the design feature number 1 and design feature number 3, if they have a direct positive correlation, then what we will do is in this area which is a common, which is a common for both of them, we are going to put a, a strong a dark circle, a filled in circle. But suppose design feature number 5 and number 3 they are having a negative correlation. That means, if you provide 3, then 5 is affected adversely or if you provide 5, then 3 is affected adversely. Then in this particular area, we are going to put a star mark. For example, if the feature number 2 and feature number 3, they have a positive correlation, but not such a strong positive correlation, 
then we will put a open circle in this one between 2 and 3. Similarly, if uh, design feature number 3 and 5 they or let us say uh, feature number 1 and 4 they have a, a negative correlation, but not very negative correlation then we will go and put a cross mark here. So, the top of the box or the design feature correlation matrix gives a visual impression if this area is full of many asterisk marks like this that means the features we have chosen are actually trying to cancel each other. On the other hand if we see many of the boxes many of the boxes like this or many of the marks like this in our rooftop that is a very good sign that means the features we have chosen to investigate are supporting each other or acting in uh, positive correlation with each other. Now this area is used by us for uh, the calculations on the bottom on the bottom we have uh, target values for certain parameters. So, these so we have chosen some design parameters, but we are going to give some target values if known and here we will be calculating the design feature priorities. So, this is the output area of the house of quality chart. So, let us see let us see the steps. So, what we do is first we list down the various needs of the customer then we assign the priorities to these needs these priorities normally are specified by the customer. Then we decide what design features are to be provided to meet these requirements this decisions comes from either an understanding of the problem consultation with experts or past experience and if possible we have to indicate some target values for these features uh, that we are providing because there is no point in exceeding those values they do not give too much benefit, but this is only if possible many a times these values can come from the competition and then the next step will be to fill in the design features matrix as I will explain very shortly. You calculate the design feature priorities and then you rank the design features and then what you do is when you rank the design features you get the list of features if you find some feature has got a very poor score you may decide to drop it altogether because it means that it does not really affect too much uh, the improvement of the con uh, of the of the design or you might use most of the design features and add some more features. Now, you use them as the requirements and repeat the whole process and it goes on cyclically. Thanks for your attention we will now move to the next section.